hello everyone hope you are all right in today's video i'm going to sow some seeds which are perennial plants or cold hardy so here i have got my seed packets and basically in this video i'm going to focus on sowing rubecchia seeds and showing you the uh, step by step progress of rubecchia plants so here i have filled my tray with multi-purpose compost which is nice and loose and i have labeled my cells where will my seeds go so in the second row from the bottom of the screen uh, i have labeled uh, rubecchia so there are six seed starting cells and here are the seeds of rubecchia these are very small seeds so i'm going to sprinkle a few seeds in each cell and later on when they germinate i can decide whether i want to thin them or transplant them individually so i'm going to sprinkle a few seeds in each cell rubecchias are cold hardy so they can be started early during the year in a cold frame so i'm going to start my rubecchia seeds in february and as you can see i'm starting a lot more seeds but in this video i'm just focusing on talking about starting rubecchia seeds and how to take care of seedlings and plants so my rubecchia seeds are from wilco but you can buy rubecchia seeds from wherever you can find them from your local nursery garden center or online any brand would be all right so after sprinkling the seeds i'm covering them with a little bit of compost so you don't want them to bury too deep you just want to cover them lightly after that i will water the seeds with a gentle spray and mostly bottom water them so i will put this tray in another tray which can hold the water and pour the water in it so the soil can suck up the water so i'm back after a few weeks and this is the middle of april and you can see the results of my seeds which i sowed so i had really good germination with rubecchias which is the third row from the bottom of the screen uh, but some of the other seeds did not germinate really well i kept this tray in my greenhouse which is unheated so it's technically a cold frame so there is no additional source of light or heat so whatever heat or light we got naturally these plants got them and basically we have had a cold spring with daytime temperatures up to 10 degrees centigrade and nighttime temperatures around 0 degrees centigrade or 1 degree centigrade so i'm happy with the germination of rubecchia seeds i think almost all of them have germinated and i have got quite a lot of seedlings in there so i need to plant them separately into individual cups which i'm going to do today so here i have got a six ounce plastic cup which i'm filling up with multi-purpose compost which is nice and loose so after filling it up i will take my seedlings out carefully from the seed starting cell and uh, gently pull them apart without damaging the roots and will plant them carefully in each cup so here you can see it's quite root bound so i'm gently pulling the soil apart it's quite wet so the seedlings come apart easily and i'm making a little hole and putting my ceiling in it and pressing the soil around it so there is no air pockets around the root you may want to plant them in the garden directly at this point but i wouldn't recommend it because uh, the seedlings are still very small and they will have much better chance of survival if you plant them individually in the cobs and keep them a little longer in a protected environment from pests and weather changes so as i said earlier rubecchias are cold hardy which means they can survive a little bit of cold and frost like frost like zero degree centigrade one degree centigrade they would be okay but if the temperature dips too much below zero degree centigrade they could struggle so they are cold hardy which means in uk in zone 8 here they can survive the winter in a cold frame or unheated greenhouse but outside in the garden they may not come back so if you want to overwinter them you would have to take them to a cold frame or unheated greenhouse during the winter and plant them out when the weather is nice and warm so here i'm transplanting all my seedlings and then i will show you the final result and how i plant them in my garden So 
so here i'm done transplanting all my seedlings and you can see i have loads of seedlings so i ran out of plastic cups so i transplanted some of them in a seed starting tray so i have kept them in my greenhouse and i have watered them and i will keep them here until the weather is nice and warm for them to go outside in my garden so i'm back after a few weeks and this is the middle of may and you can see my seedlings have grown nice and big and the weather is nice and sunny so i'm going to transplant them in my front yard and in containers so i'm in my front yard and this is my side border which is east facing so it gets lots of morning sun and you can see i have already got lots of plants here so i'm going to plant my rubecchia seedlings around these plants so i have set up my seedlings where i want them to go so i have placed them in small and bigger drifts like two or three or four plants together in the empty spaces and i'm going to plant them So I'm back after a few weeks and this is the middle of July and my rubecchia plants are blooming beautifully. This is the container where I have my grapevine and you can see all the rubecchia plants are doing really well. This container is in my backyard alongside a southwest facing fence. So this gets a little bit of morning sun and then a little bit of late afternoon sun and you can see the plants are looking quite happy. Rubecchia flowers are absolutely beautiful and the bees and butterflies love them and visit them almost all the time and here I have got few more plants in these containers so I have got these leftover containers where I planted three uh, rubecchia plants in each of them and you can see they are nice and huge and they are doing really well. This is east facing wall of my house and gets lots of morning sun. The plants are looking happy and doing well and there's quite a mix of different textures in here some of the flowers are bigger than others and some of them have a dark center and they are absolutely beautiful and here i have got four rubecchia plants planted in a route container with nasturtium plants by west facing fence and you can see these plants are doing well too there are lots of different flowers and dark centers and light centers and they are absolutely huge these have been blooming for a couple of weeks now and bees and butterflies are all over them and i have planted them in different corners in my backyard and in my front yard and i'm really happy with how they have done and once they start blooming it's an amazing show and they catch your eye and you can't really ignore their beauty i also cut a couple of them to put in a vase inside my house and they are doing really well they have absolutely long vase life and i think they can survive for a couple of weeks in a vase and this is my front yard and you can see 
these rubecchia plants are started blooming as well they are not as thick as the ones in the backyard because the front yard gets lesser sun than the backyard but they are still doing okay and there are lots of birds so soon they will be full of flowers and i'm really happy with different flowers and textures so i will highly recommend that you do try to grow rubecchia plants from seeds they are economical to grow from seeds you can get loads of plants for few pennies and basically you can plant them in different situations in containers in the garden and they perform really well and they look absolutely beautiful amazing display of colors and textures and you can use them for fresh flower arrangements they have a very long was life and bees and butterflies love them so i can't see the reason why not grow rubecchia plants so hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and it gives you plenty of information about growing rubecchia plants from seeds please subscribe to my channel for more gardening videos and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye